Good morning. This is Alexander Hagen. I am the CEO of a small, medium-sized tech company in Silicon Valley. I've previously been a financial analyst and a financial journalist, as well as a research and development project manager. I filed several patents this morning. I have to go to work, uh, so this has to be brief and somewhat unscripted. I'm concerned about the Republican primary debate tonight in South Carolina. It's vital. It's on CNN. And it's very important that Ron Paul leg it up one notch. <clears throat> uh, we need to look at U.S. economic competitiveness over the next 30 or 40 years. And this will completely crush his opponent's arguments. They clearly don't have any idea what they're talking about. Because if you have to describe the pie without confusing people. Right now, according to my calculations, one in every six dollars in the U.S. is being sunk into the black hole of corrections, the war on drugs, and the war on terror. And other countries don't have this tax on their economy. Therefore, they can take that same money and put it into actual industrial development and education and so forth. And um, they will outstrip us. So the golden rule is actually in self-interest because right now, about three-quarters of the world's economy a little bit less than that, uh, is in the hands of the U.S., its allies in Western Europe, and Japan. By 2050, we will have the minority of the world's economy. And countries that are like Brazil, Russia, India, China, Indonesia, Turkey, and Mexico will grow. Um, that means that if we have behaved in an uh, imperious fashion during this epoch, when the next epoch arrives, we will be at their mercy. Uh, this And uh, the other factor is that by choosing to spend every one and six dollars on a fictitious war on terror and a uh, fictitious war on drugs, really, uh, we are maintaining a cycle of poverty, poor education, which is a full feedback loop to guarantee we continue to have to wrestle with a corrections problem. So we're weakening our country's national defense by having the wrong spending priorities. Thank you, good night, or good morning, and good luck.